Hi, I'm Anthony Higgins. I'm at MC Squared Plus, a division of MC Squared. When you're a commercial print model, you can kind of be any size or any weight. The requirements are less stringent than they are for fashion modeling. It's kind of like everyday good-looking people. It could be a grandmother. It could be, uh, you know, a little kid. It could be, uh, you know, someone that's maybe, you know, have a few extra pounds or somebody that's maybe, like, has some wrinkles. It's just, a, it's different. It's more lifestyle, not fashion. I've been I've been in this business for 15 years. The first scouting event I ever attended was for one of David Mogul's events. Um, so I've known David for about 15 years, uh, and he's been instrumental in helping guide my career as far as going to him with advice. The reason I like going to model searches is because it directly puts us in contact with people we would never get to see otherwise. We travel on the weekends to see these people that we don't have time to scout during the week or that couldn't ever get to us because of their situation. So the only way a legitimate modeling agency makes money is if we book models on jobs. So if we don't book the model on jobs, we don't make money. So each agent has to earn their seat. One of the biggest mistakes that people uh, tend to make when they come to these events is they're not themselves. They try to be what they think we want them to be instead of just being themselves. To put your best foot forward, we'll be attracted to that confidence. We'll be attracted to the people well, they'll stand out because they are excited to be there and they're excited to walk the runway. And these agents are there to help them. If the model's successful, the agents will be successful. And if the agents are successful, the agency will be successful. It's listening to your agent, doing what they need you to do to get to that level. Just like any other job, you have to go to school and you have to learn. With modeling, it's like you have to learn how to shoot. You have to learn how to be professional on a set. You have to learn what angles look good on you. You have to know what poses each client wants because everybody wants something different. When we come to these events, we typically see you know a couple hundred people um, when you get a call back that's really important that you follow up on that call back uh, because the agent comes to these events looking for you we give up our weekends to come here we can be doing anything else the reason we come is because we're passionate about our job and we want to find the next star or we want to find the next person that's gonna you know make money for for our agency so if you don't get a call back it's not the end of the world that just means you're not what they're looking for today, okay? You may not be right for the industry because not everybody can do it. That doesn't mean you can't work as an agent, you can't work as a stylist, a photographer, a makeup artist, there's other avenues. Uh, nobody's gonna just get a modeling job without being seen in person.